Let's start off with the Daily Nation storm over housing levy. And I'll start with you, Sifuna, on this. Is there any way this can be regularized? Oh, good morning, everyone, and uh, Happy New Year. I think happy this is the first time we're on this show this uh, year. It's already February. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about regularization, but uh, for me, the position on the housing levy has been consistent, that uh, the views of a Kenyan uh, are more important than uh, the intentions of the executive. Uh, there were very unfortunate uh, statements I heard yesterday from the Member of Parliament from Mary North, uh, Geoffrey Rook, uh, who essentially was telling people that uh, if, if we see you firing people, or releasing people from uh, construction jobs, pass one to the court order, that uh, you will be as a meal. <laughs> that you, you, are, you are essentially as a meal. I mean, as in, uh, where, where did we lose our, uh, our senses as a country? The problem with the housing levies have been defined clearly. And the biggest problem for us, Trevor, has always remained the state of the Kenyan people in terms of their ability to be able to uh, bear more taxes. Uh, I don't understand why the government has just refused totally to listen to the people. Even in the uh, public participations on the new bill that is supposed to uh, do what you're calling regularization, I, I am very proud of the people of Nairobi who showed up at KICC to speak to that committee because they were very clear in their minds and in their submissions that this housing levy is something that they do not want. If you look at people's pay slips right now, uh, people are suffering, Trevor. Deductions have gone so high that people are saying it is easier for them. It is actually more beneficial for them to be paid the taxes and the government to go away with their salaries because the taxes are more than the salaries. And this is the situation we are in. And right now, we are just looking for common sense in government. Uh, we hear people like uh, uh, Murkomen uh, saying, oh, now they want to introduce tolls on, on some of our roads. There must be something very wrong with you if you look at Magadi Road, the stretch between uh, Galeria and uh, Rongai, and you think that the thing that it needs the most is a toll station. You know, there's a, there's a big problem with this government, and we want to introduce some level of uh, common sense. Uh, whatever these people are smoking, it's not working for them. They need to either stop it completely, reduce it, or as they say in the streets, because it is not working for them. Let us just introduce common sense and listen to the people. If the constitution starts by recognizing the supremacy of the people, where is the voice of the people? What is the purpose of this public participation? So you hear the head of state himself saying that uh, uh, the, the housing project is going to go on uh, irrespective of the decisions of the court that he's going to send the police to Haiti, irrespective of what the courts have said, that is not the country that we want to live in. We want common sense to return. We want the supremacy of the people of, uh, of Kenya to return in governance. So I don't see any way that you can regularize, because any law that you pass must be in accordance with the wishes of the people. And the people have spoken clearly that this housing levy is something that they do not want. So is this simply based on the lack of ability to bear more taxes for Kenyans and not necessarily the lack of needs for houses? Or I think that is the primary primary consideration, given the state of the people uh, right now, and I've argued that the state of the nation is the state of the people. Yeah. Uh, people are, uh, are, are facing very difficult times. Even the few people uh, who say are uh, employed. Yesterday I was at uh, Kwanjenga Primary School uh, as part of my oversight work over the school feeding program. And the teachers raised a very interesting point. They said, Sifuna, you people are saying you're feeding children in schools. But have you, you imagine that we as teachers are very happy to be feeding these children this food, and yet we don't have food ourselves. The teachers are looking at the children eating and wondering, why do you think us guys don't need food? Because if you look at the, the teachers basically right now, so a teacher who, who teaches at a primary school like uh, Kwanjenga is not a rich person. If they tell you the, the state of their pockets, their deductions, some of them have children who are unable to go to school. They are in their houses. When you leave a school like that, you're given a full list of teachers' children who are unable to go to Form 1, people who have done Form 4, uh, Class 8. Yeah. So we are saying the state of the people is such that the sort of taxes that have been imposed by this uh, uh, current regime are unbearable. Please allow us to be able to breathe just for a few years, and then you can tell us about new taxes. Okay.